Would you talk a little bit about your perspective on the difference between marketing for a large corporation and yeah. marketing for entrepreneurs? Yeah, well, I, I think <laughs> um, marketing for large corporations, it, it's a funny one because you kind of, you can come up with great ideas and you've got the scope to do that, I think in both. Um, it feels like in a smaller, like an entrepreneur or a startup or, a, or even a smaller business, it just, it's the reason why I hang around mm -hmm. that sort of space today. Mm -hmm. You just feel like the stuff you do makes a difference. Mm. Um, I remember, for example, working with Xerox uh, whilst I was at university, and we developed a, 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 an idea called Simply Xerox, which was they were trying to figure out how to go against Canon, who were saying you can on a Canon. You know, I don't I had that that uh, mm -hmm. one over here as well, but it was you know, and it was all the inkjet printers and stuff, and so it, it went. You know, they just they just took, and, and then they started using some of it never saw any, never heard anything of it, mm. you know, it was just, and that was how I felt corporate kind of was. It was mm. like, you had lots of teams, you had budgets to throw at stuff. And then I'd sit down with friends who were high up in banks and things like that, and they go, well, we spent $18 million on marketing and we're not really sure of our return on investment. I'm like, that's just crazy, mm. you know, and I, and I know there's a lot more accountability today mm. and there's a lot better ways of collecting metrics too. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but it was that was some of the fundamental difference. I think entrepreneurs just really zeroed in, and, and I think I think the one thing is because the entrepreneur typically is doing everything. You know, the old chief cook and bottle washer. Um, they probably have a pretty jaded view of what marketing is. 